Hi chemists, welcome to the, our new unit on thermochemistry. This video will teach you many of the basics that you need in order to be successful in this unit. After today, you should be able to explain what thermochemistry is, list different types of energy, explain what happens to particle motion when heat energy is absorbed, convert between units of calories, joules, and kilojoules. Thermochemistry is the study of heat changes that occur during chemical reactions and physical changes of state. Energy is defined as the ability to do work or supply heat. There are many different kinds of energy. Kinetic and potential is probably what you're most familiar with, but you can also break them down into further subcategories like heat or solar, nuclear, wind, sound, even magnetic. Heat is usually associated with the symbol Q. This is a form of energy. Heat will flow from warmer objects to cooler objects. If two objects come into contact with one another, heat will move from the warmer object to the cooler object until they reach thermal equilibrium, which is also basically the same temperature. When you add heat energy, your molecules will move faster. The kinetic energy of those particles will increase and therefore your temperature is increasing. Temperature is a measure of heat. If you have an increase in heat, you have an increase in temperature. In chemistry, it's important that we talk about chemical potential energy. Chemical potential energy is the stored energy in chemical bonds. This depends on the type of atom and their arrangement. In a chemical reaction, you'll see one of two things. First is that your PE or potential energy is converted to heat. So for example, heat is given off and the reaction or phase change feels hot and it's exothermic. Heat is absorbed and then converted to PE and that's where you would see that your reaction, for example, would feel cool and that is endothermic. The law of conservation of energy says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form to another. There are a few units of energy that you need to be familiar with. The first is the joule. The second is calorie, which is the chemistry calorie. The third is the food calorie. Notice the difference in the symbols. One food calorie is the same as a thousand chemistry calories. So really one food calorie is a kilocalorie. And then one calorie also equals 4.18 joules. Here's an example of the types of conversions that you will have to do in this unit with our units of energy. For example, it says how many calories are, are in 287 joules? I like to use the known and the unknown. So we're going from 287 joules to calories. So we know that 4.18 joules equals one calorie. So we're gonna have 4.18 on the bottom and then one calorie on top. Joules and joules will divide out, and then we get our answer as 68.7 calories. This one says, how many kilojoules are equal to 1478 calories? So again, I'm gonna break it down into my known and my unknown. I'm given calories, and I have to get into joules. I can't go straight to kilojoules just yet because I only know a conversion from calories into joules. So again, one calorie equals 4.18 joules. Calories and calories divide out. And then 1,000 joules equals one kilojoule. And the joules and joules divide out. And you should get an answer of 6.178 kilojoules. Hopefully this video helped you to understand how to convert in between units of energy and to understand the ways in which energy will manifest itself in chemical reactions. Thank you so much for watching.